Two college students are suing Detroit police after they said they were targeted for trying to record video of what they called police brutality. This happened after the annual fireworks show last year when Adam Malinowski and Mikhail Richards said they saw police struggling with a man near Grand Circus Park. The two got out their phones and they started recording the incident, but when police saw that, they said police told them to back away and stop recording. They also said police deleted all, almost all of the footage off the phone except this one video we're looking at. And they ended up spending nearly a day in jail because of all this. Yeah, joining us now are those two students, Adam and Mikkel, along with their attorney, Sean Godwin. Thank you so much for being with us. Mikkel, let's start with you here. Walk us through how all this went down and what made you start recording what was going on in the first place. Okay, so um, after the fireworks last year, my friend and I were uh, walking up Woodward. We were going back to my place. I lived in the area at the time, and we noticed... Uh, a lot of cops, probably around eight cops struggling with a man in Grand Circus Park, um, beating him up. Um, his face was all bloody and there was mud on it, and we decided we want to record that. And you can see in the video playing right now, mm -hmm. that's what we were trying to do. So, Mikkel, what happened at this point? The, the, the officer gets in your face. What's he telling you? Um, he's telling you, no, back away, back away. Other officers were saying, put your phone away, get out of here. They used profanity with us. They did not treat us well. And what was, Adam, what was your reaction when they were telling you to stop recording and get away? What did you guys do then? I know you continued recording. You know, I was pretty shocked. Uh, we were telling them that we had a legal right to do this. I think that that policy had just changed a few weeks before in Michigan. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. But so we backed up uh, and we kept recording. And the next thing I know, uh, Mikkel gets slugged by uh, one of the officers and about six or eight officers surround him, and I'm getting that on camera. Uh, uh, Sean, we're, we're fortunate we have an attorney with us to maybe answer the legality of this. Were they in the right to uh, roll footage where they were? They absolutely have a First Amendment right to record the police in a public space. Uh, it's not an interfering with the police to record from a distance. That doesn't prevent the police from doing their and jobs. And what distance would be prudent? I would think at least 10, 15 feet. And is that where you guys were? Did you feel like you were kind of within that safe zone? Uh, yeah, we were at first probably 15 feet away, and later on they moved us back even further to where we were probably 20 feet away even. They say they deleted, or you say rather, that they deleted your footage there. How much are we talking about, and what went down in that footage that, that now is gone? Well, all of the footage from my phone was destroyed because the phone was smashed on the concrete after I was cuffed. And also, we, we see the video right here from the, the top. It's a security camera right here. How much of this uh, is backing up? Uh, Sean, maybe you can answer this question. How much of that video that we see from the security cameras backing up what they are telling? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure that shows my clients at all. Uh, Mikkel was wearing a, a white shirt at the mm -hmm. time, but uh, clearly they do back away. Um, and so how do you prove the case then? Oh, they have, an absolute, they have an absolute right to record the police from a distance. And just because the police don't like you recording them doesn't mean the police can assault you, punch no. you in the face, charge you with interfering, and destroy evidence that would uh, prove your innocence. In 10 uh, seconds or less, where does the case stand right now? We've just filed the, the case in federal court, and we'll be beginning the discovery process soon after the city of Detroit has answered the complaint. Well, keep right. us posted. We reached out to Detroit the police. police, we want to mention, yesterday, and they have not responded to us. So we thank you all. Adam, Mikhail, Sean, thank you very much for joining for us. We us. will thank continue you. watching the story as it continues. In the meantime,